Well, what I mean, I know you're. Uh, let's talk about you for a minute. I, I know you're a photojournalist by uh, by trade. Have you always been involved with like kind of grassroots media efforts, or, or is that something that started for you with Status Quo? Like, like what's some of your history? Well, so I would say about ten years ago, I started realizing, you know, certain things that's that was happening. You know, I okay, so. I understand where you know where the Trump supporters are coming from, but like, cause because I know there's conspiracies, and you know things have happened throughout the years that have been covered up, and you know things that that don't come out, and so you know when I started digging deeper, that's that's when I started realizing, all right, shit's not what it seems to be on the surface. So, and this, this was 10 years ago? 10 years ago. So yeah. this was like just a political awakening for you? Right. Okay. Right. I, so wasn't even, what, I wasn't even a photographer. I was not a videographer at this point. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've done, you know, odd jobs here and there, but really kind of like finding my way. Um, and then- what'd you, what'd you do before you were a photojournalist? Just kind of like- I mean, I was a- I mean, I did a lot of work with my hands, uh, construction, plumbing, electrical work, uh, you know, just kind of trade stuff like that. So wait a second. You did a bunch of incredibly useful things. <laughs> and then you were like, wait a second. I got to go where the real lucrative opportunities are. Photojournalism. Right. I was like, <laughs> I, I, had to, I had to dig deep and, ex and figure out why, the, you know, why things are the way they are. I just, I couldn't accept it. That I had to go to work for 40 hours a week and and do this job and and pay these bills yeah. and not understand why why we're at why we are why the you know there's so many issues. No, no, no. I'm with you. I mean, I'm just busting your balls, but yeah, yeah. Like, no, I, I'm I'm totally with you 110. percent Um, and you were like, I got to do something about that. Well, what what involved like what was that awakening? Like, I can tell you, my awakening was for the most part, if I had to just narrow it down in like a 30 second elevator, it was the Iraq war because I was, I, you know, I wasn't really paying attention to politics. I was just a, a kid on a skateboard playing punk rock music, wanting girls to like me. Um, and then all of a sudden it's like, well, wait a second, Iraq didn't do nine 11. What, you know, this, this is what's going through 16 year old me, my head. And I'm just like, why are we wars terrible? Why are we going to, War and then and then you would hear people be like, "Well, war's good for the economy." I'm like, "We're gonna go to war and kill people because it's good for our economy." We do that in the United States. Oh yes, young Ron, we've been doing that for a long freaking time. We're not the good guys. Time to wake up, buddy. And I did, and that was the floodgate that opened. And this was going back about 2004 when the because then I went to college and I started reading shit that they didn't want me to read in high school, but I read it in college. And, um, you know, so what, what what was what was this awakening that happened for you 10 years ago? Uh, you know, just, just, you know, kind of doing my own research. You know, at that point, I had nobody to. So, I mean, digging deeper into things. But then, really, my, my main thing was to, to be on the front lines, you know, covering, you know, like, you know, you see things on the news and you kind of wonder, all right, what's happening here? That made me want to, you know, I mean, pick up a camera or go there with my phone. You know, I think I, I was, you know, I went to go check out my first protest in, I think it was 2011, 2012, maybe, um, you know, just with my, with my phone taking pictures. Eventually, you know, my father is a photographer, you know, he gave me his camera, um, you know, started going out, taking pictures. And then, uh, you know, then I then I had a friend who was, uh, you know, uh, studying to be a, a, a journalist and he was also a photographer. So we kind of just went to different, uh, you know, different protests, different stories. And, uh, you know, that's how I that's how I got into this. And well, let me ask you about the protest specifically when you started covering. So so was this Occupy or was some of it Occupy? The, the first protest I went to was in New York City after uh, Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin was uh, killed by uh, um, 
George Zimmerman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, was that in Florida? Yeah, yeah, that was in Florida. Yeah. Yeah, George Zimmerman. Was that 2013 or I think that was. Oh, geez. I think. 2013, maybe. Yeah, I mean, that sounds, it was around there. I mean, because, I mean, there were so many, I mean, there was Michael Brown and, and then there was, there, there was Trayvon Martin and then there was Tamir Rice in Cleveland. And it, it's, it's uh, insane. There, there's so many. It, it's, yeah. And you know, you know I, I grew up in the neighborhood. I mean, I grew up in Brooklyn, um, you know, South Brooklyn. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's very different uh, from, uh, I guess Manhattan, or even uh, more North Brooklyn, because um, you know they're very. It's very. It hasn't been like I guess gentrified. You could say um, they're very. How to how to explain it? It's very set back. It's not like progressive. They're just like kind of like set in their ways. Okay. And not like developing. Uh, so kind of kind of like an old school community that's still. Uh, Okay. Yeah. So you know, I grew up in that type of neighborhood, and was you know, it uh was was it like an an Italian neighborhood? Italian and Irish. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, I mean, you can see me. I have I have tattoos. You know, I look like, you know, I guess you could say like a right winger, or you know, because I I was. Was, uh, I, what makes you look like a right winger? Well, you know, tattoos. I'm a white dude, and you know. Wait, uh, only ta only right wingers have tattoos. Uh, uh, Hurry uh, up with this, John. So like, I have tattoos. Yeah, I only have one. So yeah, I guess. What I'm trying to say is like I, I I was like I'm a lefty. I gotta I can't I can't hit more than one. <laughs> <laughs> I think I look more like a right winger than you do. Well, I was, I was around those types of people. Let's just say. Okay. All right. All right. So you know, I fit into the that type of crowd. I guess you could say, but you know, not that I want to, but okay. You know, so I, I grew so up. You, you just grew up in a more conservative area, right? And that was what you were exposed to. Okay. So, you know, growing up in that, around that, and and seeing, you know, seeing that, I, I understand it. Not not that I I respect it or or agree with it. I understand it, which gives me a better, you know. A, a better understanding to to kind of like you know use my privilege to to change kind of like help change things mm -hmm. and help people who i i grew up around or or you know that i've been around help them see the other side you know so that's that's my whole idea of why i do what i do mm -hmm. you know no man, thank goodness you do it, and uh, and, and don't worry, man. I will always give the the disclaimer for you. Whenever someone's like, "All oh, John's tattoos," he's got to be right wing, right? Like, no, that's a myth. That's the ta the tattoo myth is not a thing. I know plenty of lefties that have multiple like sleeves of tattoos. <laughs> don't put that on John. <laughs> but I think I mean I I have like the glasses and stuff, and I I think I I think if, if you lined the two of us up and and said just based on what they look like, uh, which one would you guess is a right winger? I would say more people would guess me than you. You think so? Yeah. I think so. You don't think so? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I got like the like like this, and you know, like I know like a lot of right wingers they they do a similar uh, hairstyle. Which uh, you know, I mean, I've been wearing my hair this way for a long time. They they don't get to take that freaking hairstyle. They don't get to do it. They don't get to take that for me and I have the glasses. Um, you know, and and um, you know, let's be honest, you're a lot more handsome than I am. So if they were like, well, one of them's an incel, they would definitely guess me before they guessed you. Um, you know, I, I, neither of us are bad looking dudes. I'm just saying you're you're better looking. You know, you get what I was trying to say. <laughs> 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 you're like you're making me uncomfortable and yeah. i get it uh, I'm, I'm clearing it up <laughs> get your news on with ron don't you want to know what's going on we're getting our news on today get your news on with ron don't you want to know what's going on we're getting our news on today yeah 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 you can tweet me an article at ron Placone. 
through it together and make it our own. Get your 